Hello everyone, my name is Claude9, here with... P. McGee. And we're here to bring you another Poke of the Week Battles. I think that's the name we agreed Ooh. on this time. Poke of the Week Battles, I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's, it's concise. It tells you exactly what we're doing. And as you heard from the podcast this week, our Pokemon of the episode is Jolteon. So we have a fun Battle Spot singles team for you today. All around Jolteon, which... And this is an interesting Jolteon. It's not the normal Volt a... Absorb, like, choice specs that you normally see. Exactly. Yeah. This one's Quick Feet with the Flame Orb. And for those of you that don't remember, Quick Feet, when you're inflicted with some sort of status, it doubles your speed. So yes. Jolteon will be the fastest thing out there. And we have Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Yawn, and Protect. And if you notice, this is a Jolteon level 3. Because that's all you need. All you need. Yep. And what I think... Go. I was going to say, I like... Um, so the thing that's nice about this Jolteon with the spread it's running is that it will... Since most Gyarados that you see are going to run out of it nature, a plus one speed Gyarados is still going to underspeed this Jolteon, yeah. even without the boost. Mm -hmm. So it makes the Jolteon pretty scary. Yeah. that's this, It's the main counter for Gyarados. And I'm hoping we run into one so we get to use it. And you know what goes better... You know what pairs perfectly with a level 3 Jolteon? A level 6 Arcanine. <laughs> and I believe this is like your standard defensive Arcanine with the Intimidate Rocky Helmet, Flare Blitz, Will-O-Wisp, Morning Sun, and Bulldoze. And to round out this little core of this team, we have Scizor. It's your Technician Focus Sash Scizor with Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Brick Break, and Swords Dance. And we deliberately chose X Scissor over something like Bug Bite, just because Bug Bite does not hit Dynamax Mons. So we want to make sure that if something goes big, we're not losing out on it. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. It's the same with fascinating. Because it doesn't hit the berries. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> rounding out the back half of this team, we've got Porygon two doing Pory Porygon two things. He um is running Tri Attack because that's a great stab move and mm -hmm. it can do a lot of status. Psychic to poke at some of the fighting types and. Uh, poison types that might be causing some trouble. Thunderbolt, again, uh, for just some good coverage, and then recover to stay healthy and alive. We've got a Gardevoir with a Choice Scarf, which makes him, makes her quite speedy. Uh, Trace, so that we can kind of scout out abilities and maybe take them to our advantage. And it's running Psychic, Energy Ball, Moon Blast, and Thunderbolt, so some great coverage. Yeah. And then to rounding out the team, we got our other Choice Mon with uh, Urshifu, and this is the Rapid Strike, so we got the Fighting Water style. Uh, surging Strike, because it's a great move. Close Combat, because it's a great move. Iron Head, again, because it's a great move. And then Thunder Punch, which helps us take care of some of those pesky Toxapex that might be around. Oh, yeah. And I think the Gardevoir is Trace, so that way if we switch in on a Porygon 2, we can get their download, and I think it will almost always give a special attack. Boost. Oh, nice. So, fun little thing there. But let's jump right on into it and see how this team does. I don't know about you, but I have not tried this out yet. I have not given it a full try yet, so I'm excited to give it a run. Yeah, we're starting at 15 and 4. We're near the end of Great Ball, so hopefully we can make it to Ultra Ball this time. Because I think it's just level 9 and above, right? Um, yeah, level nine, level 10 is Ultra, and then uh, after that's okay. Master. So maybe I'm yeah. one away, two away. Maybe we'll get there eventually. We will see. Oh, well, we found a match really fast. All right, and let's see what this person has. So they have the Alolan Ninetales, Cloyster, Galarian Darmanitan, oh my god, Dragapult, and then we have Starmie and Rillaboom. Ice, and hmm. then other stuff. It's probably sashed. I almost feel like we should so there, lead out with... There are two things that jump out to me. One being yeah. Jolteon, and second one being Scizor. I didn't even Arcanine. Scizor... Scizor seems like a great leadoff, almost. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not a Sash one, which it probably is, but if it's not Sash, then Scizor just gets the KO right off the bat, and then that stops any sort of Aurora Veil from coming up. Um, obviously, well, I think we, we want Jolteon. Yeah, okay. I think Jolteon also has a fairly good matchup besides, what, Dragapult and Rillaboom, but we have Yawn for that. We have Yawn, and we have other support things. So I think those two are, like, absolutes. Part of me thinks uh, Gardevoir would be good because Gardevoir will outspeed the Dracopult. Yeah, and it can deal with both the Rillaboom, I think, and the uh, Dracopult. All right, let's try that. Yeah. 
Well, I think lead scissor, and then we have Jolteon, and then Gardevoir in the back. I like it. Let's try it. Because the other thing is, like, as much as I like Arcanine, a lot of his team is special, and yes, yes. he's probably expecting us to bring the Arcanine, so I'm expecting him to have Cloyster and Dragapult definitely show up. Those are the two I would yes. definitely guess. And I th Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So he sends out Rillaboom. Okay. I mean... Interesting leadoff. We don't care. No. Not, we have, is it U-turn on us? Or is no. It, um, it's it U-turn. It's X-Scissor. X-Scissor. That's still fine. Do you want to... I don't want to go big. Do I? No. No, no, no. No, no. I, th no we, I don't think big. I think we just click X-Scissor right here. Or Sword Stance. I could be okay with a Swords Dance even because we're going to get our health back if he tries to attack us because he sets some terrain. We have our Focus Sash, so whatever he sends out, we're not too worried about. I don't think he has a way to kill us in one shot or even two shot us. We four times resist grass. Yeah. All right, I'm going for the Swords Dance. I'm going to be greedy. We're going to go for it. And he, Oh, he fakes out. Okay. That's, that's a little annoying, but I mean, all right. Because you know what that does? Oh, no. Oh. Do you see that? We're one below the sash. No. All right. Well, if hopefully he'll switch out here because I don't see a reason for him to stay in. Fake out's kind of kind of weird to run in singles. I wouldn't call that a, a especially because you have grassy terrain up. Like you're not really accomplishing a lot. Well, especially versus. I right, now he's gonna U-turn. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. We'll get some health back and we get a sword stance up now. I want to see mm. what he brings in. And the funny thing is we do have Brick Break, so if they do set up Aurora Veil, we could just get rid of it later. It's true. All right, there's a Dragapult. Do you think this lives a plus two sword stance? Um, I don't know. Bullet Punch? I, I We have to go for it. I mean... You have to, you have to Bullet Punch, like, without a doubt. Um, it's probably a spec set, so it's probably going to go Fire Blast. If it hits. Great, it also could go big right here. Which it is. All it, right. Yeah, it, it, it kind of had no choice but to go big. But it's okay because we got Gardevoir in the back, so it's not really a huge concern. No, and I think Gardevoir is what we really want in Dynamax, at least for the three mm -hmm. that we brought. Because um, now he definitely won't miss his fire move. But when we're going to get off a good chunk of damage, I mean... Oh, yeah. This is Technician plus two. That did Bullet. great. I'm, I'm happy with that. And now, uh, the most important thing is it puts it in now so that Moonblast from Gardevoir should finish the job yeah. just fine. And I, I do think we want to go big just because uh, we're not locked into a move. Yeah. Because we don't have a good way of beating this Rillaboom anymore. Um, I don't think we have this. Wait. We don't have this. Go big with Gardevoir? Yeah. Or you're I. Well, the thing is, I don't know about going big this turn because we want to keep the speed advantage over... Okay, that's fair. Do you think this will just kill? Uh, it should do at least half. I mean, it's Moonblast from a Gardevoir. It's pretty powerful. We now have Infiltrator. That's even better. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have to click the Moonblast here. There, there is no yeah. other option. I'm, I'm hoping this kills. It should... Yeah, all right, cool. They don't have Dynamax anymore. And worst case, we can just go out into... Jolteon to sack, <laughs> bring back Gardevoir to go big. Exactly. Because um, if he's smart, he's going to go right into the Rillaboom here. And since he has Fake Out, he's going to want to click Fake Out, which is the perfect Yeah, just to buy a turn. Oh, nope. Okay. Okay. So he's going to cause some trouble. Um, it does feel like... Or do we go big here? I think we have to go big. Do we have Fire? No, we don't. That's a bummer. Um, so I do think we go big and we click Starfall? Or mine? Doesn't matter. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't think either matters. Yeah, I think Psychic fine. Terrain would be better. Yes, um, just because that, I mean, that stops the fake out, I guess, from later on. Well, I mean, so. he's going to bring in Grassy Terrain with him. So maybe Fire to, my Fairy might be better to prevent like a freeze if something awful would happen. Yeah. I don't know, I'm... Yeah, because... He should be going first, because we do lose the effect of the scarf. And... Yeah, he's... He... 
he outspeeds anyway, so even if we're presuming he's Scarf, which he probably yeah. is. So it's not like we were gaining anything by staying not Dynamax. No. We weren't going to win the speed tie. Or there wasn't a speed tie to be had. Mm -hmm. No. And there's a Flare Blitz. Oh, that doesn't kill. Oh. And, alright, so the only problem is we are not faster than the Rillaboom. No. Um, that's I, a base 95, and we don't have really a good solution with our uh, Jolteon. No, and he definitely is going to have Grassy Glide. One would presume. Mm -hmm. Though he's running a weird set. Fake Out's already a weird thing. He's going to run glossy, gr Grassy Glide. He's got to be. So, like, the, the, the thought process here would be go Jolteon and pray. Or do we just stay in and try and get off a, uh, a Starfall? Oh, no, we want a Mindstorm. So we can then yawn it. And that's how we win. Yeah, it's not a bad call. I think it's the only way is if he doesn't have Grassy Glide and we somehow... No, he does. No, he's got Grassy Glide. Yep. All right, so... We needed the Arcanine. <laughs> we needed the Arcanine. Yeah. I mean, we can yawn here and protect. That's about all we can do. Yep, that, that's, that's our best bet is to hope to live and hit yawn. I don't know how we're going to power through with just electric attacks. I, I feel like he's in a position to win this game. Yeah, maybe we should have led Jolteon and Volt switched. That... Went to bed a bad call. No. Um, we, we, this is our only play is to do this and then hope to get, like, crits on crits. Uh, well, of course we're faster, which means he didn't Grassy Glide. Granted, if he has Wood Hammer. He's going to hit Wood Hammer. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, sure. Take our Flame Orb. Weirdly, that doesn't hurt us too much because we were going to save anyway. So now we just protect, wait for it to fall asleep, and we try to do as much as we can. Yep. Oh, gosh. Well, this is this is interesting. The, the good news is um, he's going to lose his... He should lose his Terrain. grassy surge. So he'll lose the extra power boost and he'll lose the priority. Yep, there's the grassy um, glide. So I think this is turn four. Or no, three. That's turn yeah, three. Yeah, so if he's asleep... Ideally, he's asleep for two turns, so we can get some health back, no, too. Ideally, he's but... asleep for three turns. Oh, yes, three turns. I mean, now it's just Thunderbolt into Thunderbolt into Thunderbolt. And hope for a paralysis. On, on the wake. All right, so he's left the first turn, which he had, guarantee does, and that does nothing. <laughs> oh, we have lost this. There is, there is nothing we can do. All right, so I, I we should have brought Arcanine. Arcanine would have won this game hands down. Arcanine was in a much better position than we anticipated with this game. Yeah. I mean, we expected a uh, Cloister. I, I expected Cloister, cloister so at least. Um, and then Arcanine was not suited for that matchup. So we expected Jolteon to be able to decimate the Cloister without real issue. Or any of uh, the Ice types. I mean... Yeah, losing, I mean, Jolteon was in a good... They, he brought the, like, the three things Jolteon couldn't handle as well. Yeah, I know. Alright, so the Grassy Terrain's gone. So... We Thunderbolt here, and we need him, uh, he, oh, I don't know, he's not going to wake, like, yeah, there's nothing we can do, that did so little, and he wakes here, and Grassy Glide will just eat us alive, I think, yeah, alright, well, yeah, <laughs> that, that's game one, unfortunately, Jolteon could not do it, um, <laughs> we try with Jolteon, he just didn't have the, uh, I think that was AV too, that seemed AV. That, I was wondering that because it's actually a pretty good item for Rillaboom to run yeah. on, in these metas. Yeah, we'll continue battling. All right, let's, let, let, let's redeem ourselves after that match. Soft reset. Okay. Get it together. Yeah. Get back to it. We can do better than this because this is this is not a terrible, terrible team. We just brought the wrong The wrong three. ones. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Hippo, Grimmsnarl, Rotom, Rillaboom again, Cinderace, and Dragapult. Okay. Hmm. So this time, I still think Arcanine, I think Arcanine's much better here. Arcanine's much better here. The only really scary thing it has to deal with is... Um, Maybe Urshifu. Urshifu seems... Uh... I don't know, because hmm. like, I'm also liking Scizor sometimes. Like, it's... Well, because Scizor can do good damage. Everyone can do, like, everyone's good against three and then struggles pretty bad against three. Uh, Gardevoir can hit pretty much everything, so that's so, a consideration. hear me out. 
I think we lead Gardevoir. I agree. I think that's a good lead. It can check. It can scalp most of the things pretty well. Exactly. I think we bring Porygon too. I agree. I think he offers some good bulk to stall some we, Dynamax if we, we have to. either him. end with Urshifu or Arcanine. I think Urshifu. I don't know if we can do Porygon and Arcanine. I don't then, know if Then maybe enough... we swap Porygon for Arcanine, or because he is going to bring the Cinderace. Is this intimidate? Is this intimidate? Yeah. Arcanine. Intimidate. Okay. Arcanine. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's better than Porygon too. Then. Okay. Let, let's try the Arcanine this time, and then bring Urshifu in the back, just as a. We might be able to win with this. Yes. Okay. He's got good coverage moves, so that helps. All right. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. So, I'm trying to think of what this, like, I, mean, I think if we bring Jolteon again, we have to lead with it and go in and out. Yeah, I think pivoting is much better in that case with Jolteon. All right. I'm... I think we just click Energy Ball. Yeah, yeah, I think Energy Ball is a good click. I don't think that's something it's going to expect us to have, per se. Yeah. So we might be able to get some real good damage. And I, I'd, I'd like to save the going big until we absolutely have to. The fact that we see Hippo, I think, is fairly good for us. Because mm -hmm. two of our three things can easily check it. And this should do a good amount Massive of damage. Amount. Oh, yeah. And let's there just... we go. And there's a berry. Uh, what's that? Like citrus, maybe? It would yeah. have to be citrus because I don't think he was at a quarter. Great. Off. Set up your stealth rocks. Granted, that is going to actually hurt Arcanine, but still. He has to say it's going gonna, gonna to chunk Arcanine for a decent amount. Okay. But um, he's still going to take. Like, he's either going to switch out here or we get an energy ball off. I expect him to go straight into Cinderace or something. If he like has that. It, yeah. Cinderace or Rillaboom. So that's the thing. If they bring out, like, Cinderace or Rillaboom... Hmm. Oh, I can never tell what's coming out. Oh, that is Cinderace. Okay. Cinderace okay. doesn't have the best special defense. This will still do a good chunk of damage. A healthy chunk plus sand. Oh, and this is perfect. Right, so we go straight Arcanine. I think we go straight Arcanine. Yeah. We have the um, Intimidate. It, goes, it might... Yeah, the Intimidate is going to help. It might just Airstream, uh, because that would be the logical thing. It's still going to take probably... Intimidate and Rocky Helmet. Yeah. No, not, if it Airstreams, it won't take the Rocky Helmet. It won't? Isn't it still No. Take... No. Dynamax moves don't uh, don't apply with the stuff, like with the uh, Iron Barbs Ooh. and Rocky Helmet. You just went like for that. Ironhead. That's even better. But Ironhead, Ironhead's perfectly good, because not only is he going to do damage to himself, he's now also a Steel-type. That did... Oh, crap. Okay, I'm like... Why did that do so much damage? Yeah. Oh, it's a life, life orb set too. It's perfectly fine. If you he wants to hit us, he can hit us and take even more damage. But I'm gonna try and bulldoze. I see uh, no reason to go for Morning Sun in the sand because it's gonna do nothing. No, you might want to flare Blitz because it could just bounce your airstream here. Okay. This is his Dynamaxer, um, so I don't know. I'm afraid he's going to do something with the flying move and try to get out of it. I don't think we live the hit regardless. Okay. I don't yeah. Think... I mean, I'll click Flare Blitz then. Just because, why not? Oh, we withdrew. But it's the max. That's fine. So if he... Is it Interesting. back to Hippo? It might... it might be back to Hippo. Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, we're going to get this Flare Blitz off. Um, and if Good we... news is he's he's weak enough now, too, where we could spam Psychic for both oh, of yeah. these. Oh, we got the burn. That's even better. That's pretty helpful. I mean, I was just going to Will Wisp next turn, but... So do we want to kill this, or do we want to, like, Morning Sun and try and be cheeky? We could buy it being cheeky. I like that. I mean, because I think it'd be better if we take if we well, both I guess, go down. Let's both go down here to this. Yeah, as I say, it might be better just to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, just because that way it could slack off, and then it would get, we might get outside the psychic yep, range. Yeah, we can't do that. That could be a concern. So we should go down here, unless the sand goes away, in which case we might survive. <gasps> We're on two, and the sand went away. Oh, no. So we get we get to scout. Uh, That's fine. Okay. This is good because he doesn't have reason to believe that our Gardevoir is scarfed. No. Per se. He, he would, if know anything, he sure. would expect maybe specs. Yeah. So he, as long as he doesn't come in here in Airstream, we're fine. Because Gardevoir, Gardevoir will do enough to take care of it. Uh, so, yeah, because we're dead to rocks no matter what, but. Okay. 
So if he does airstream, that's the only thing that could be an issue. And I'm gonna attempt to morning sun if for some reason he like just bounces or something. He could bounce. If he bounces, that's great. Yeah, but I want to just prepare for that. Yep, he's going big here. Okay. So this is. He's probably gonna airstream. There's no reason yeah. for him to do anything besides so airstream. We could be in trouble. Um. I'm a, well, actually, we just have to go guard. Of, well, if we go guard of four, he has steel. You already know he has iron head. It, then we have to go big with. Uh, Urshifu. Yeah, I mean, will it's not that, a bad type. Will it live uh, a... Airstream? Probably not. That's the only thing, is will it live the Airstream? Like, Almost certainly not. I think it has a better chance of living an Airstream than Gardevoir does of living a max deal. I would absolutely agree with that. And we're not going to take as much damage from the rock, so it's just a little extra. I mean, Urshifu's got solid defense yeah. stat. Uh, the biggest issue, though, is... Um, God, Life Orb is just so hard to survive. Yeah. I mean, we, we have no choice but to go big, I think. No, we have no choice. It's a, it's an absolute, like, that's our best chance at survival, is going big. And... So maybe we should have let Hippo go down. Like, Hippo kill us. Granted, if he slacked off, we would have been in a worse spot. Yeah, I don't know if there was anything to be gained from it, because Hippo, Hippo slacks off, he's in a great spot. Um, we weren't getting, Arcanine was too low to get back in to get another Intimidate off. Yeah, and we just, he wasn't gonna survive the rocks. I'm assuming we Rapid Flow here versus Knuckle. But I think so. Uh, yeah, Rapid Flow seems the most logical. I doubt he has anything that would make that not very effective. Yeah, I mean, here comes another Max Airstream. I mean, like, we have to just hit it and live. Like, yeah. Granted, I'm hoping the Dynamax boost will let us live. We should live. I want to say we live. Uh, it's close. Life Orb, Stab, uh, Airstream. Oh, that's right. Everything's Stab now. Yeah. I hope we can live it. Otherwise, we lose to this Cinderace, and... Oh, we do. We do. Woo! Woo! So, what I want to see here is I want to see Dragapult. Dragapult would be great, unless unless it's sashed, in which case we lose. Hey. No, Gardevoir can live a hit. I'm not Shadow Ball. Oh, yeah, as I, said, I don't oh, think it's no. like, I don't think it's taking a shadow ball. Why? Why would it be Sash with Sandstorm? Uh, that's fair. That's a fair logic. Um, that's uh, very fair. Let's see. And it is Rotom. That's great for us. That's... We should, unless it's Scarfed, we outspeed this. And we're. I think we max Knuckle, or is it better to max Light, or is it better to Rapid Flow? Probably Knuckle. Probably Knuckle. Because Rapid Flow doesn't get the crit, does it? No. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can just get as much damage okay. off as possible. Okay, we should be fine then. Oof. Unless unless this is... Okay, yeah, this is game. Okay, we're good. We're good. Slight scare. Uh, unless scare. it is agility. Oh, that's true. But he had no reason to suspect yeah, Gardevoir was... But like, he probably thinks, oh, I am faster than this Gardevoir right now. It shouldn't think that because Gardevoir is a base. 80. No, great. Never mind. Gardevoir yeah. underspeeds. I wrong. I always forget Rotom's a little faster than I think. And we know it's not Scarf. So we know we're faster. We know it's not Scarf. And we're going to trace the Levitate. That's the only thing we can trace. And, and Energy Ball to victory. Energy Ball should guarantee this KO right even here. with Even with the Grass. Oh, cool. um, He's not going to have a Rindo Berry Rotom. I don't know. He has something on it. It's not. It could be specs. It's Iapapa Berry, if anything. Cause that, yeah, that's a kill. Whew. All right. Woo! That was really worrisome. <laughs> it came. It came down to the like the last little bit of health. And Thank we goodness. learned some valuable information that Urshifu after rocks Gigantamax can live in airstream from a life orb, Cinderace. We don't know if it's Jolly or Adamant, but we're gonna survive. find out right now. <laughs> Nope. This is good to know. Because this is important count. Wait. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got it. All right. So this is Jolly. Okay. So it, it would not have survived Anatomy, no, most likely. Definitely not. But we're going to do one more battle with this team and see what we can come up with. Maybe if I win, I can get to <laughs> nine. Maybe get Jolteana win in here. Maybe. We, we will see. Maybe. It's a lot harder to work with Jolteon. When you only have one attack, yeah. like one type attack, yeah. And you know what doesn't look good here against three grass types and a Dragapult? <laughs> Not Jolteon. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, but I do like Arcanine. Arcanine's looking good here. 
even Scizor looks pretty good here. I'm liking the look of Scizor here. The only thing we have to be wary of is it's probably a counter um, or Endeavor Lycanroc, so we want to be cautious of that, but mm -hmm. Urshifu can handle that just fine. Well, Scizor can also just pull a bunch. It doesn't outspeed, though, so the Endeavor Assault Why? Rock. Oh, yes. Right, right, right. It would Endeavor yeah, yeah. on our... On one of our... On our moves. Bullet Punch. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like Porygon here, to be honest. So what are you thinking for a team? Arcan you know what? Arcanine makes more sense. Arcanine makes more sense. The only thing that's concerned about is Lycanroc, but we can work around that. Yeah. Like, I almost like Arcanine, Scizor, and then... Gardevoir? Because if he doesn't have Incineroar, or we get rid of Incineroar... Yeah, Psychic yeah, because Psychic... Free. Yeah. Psychic's very effective on this team. I think that's a good call. But, uh, it just doesn't feel good not for anything like Urshifu. <laughs> it seems like he's gonna want to lead Lycanroc. Seems like the thing he'd want to do. So we lead... We lead oh, well, alright, let's lead Arcanine. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have, I have time, to, I have to choose quickly. Alright, two seconds remaining. Whew, we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah, I think we lead Arcanine, because everything looks physical besides a couple of things, and if they're not, then we can handle it. Yeah. I do like his outfit, though. I like dark blue theme, it's really cool. I spend a lot of time looking at other players' trainer cards. Or I, cards. Spend, I spend absolutely no time, so this is a... Uh... Dracopult's interesting. It's almost certainly going to be Infiltrator, so it should still take the drop. And then we're we're good on special defense investment, right? I have no idea. Oh, it's clear body. Oh, interesting. That makes me think physical. That makes me very much think physical. And, and I dropping think a will -O -Wisp, Wisp is a great idea. Absolutely. Let's just go for it. Um, worst case, we can always switch out. He reflects. That's okay. We'll stall here. I mean, we, we also got have Scizor with... Um, we have Scizor Brick Brick? with Brick Brick, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're not worried about this. No. We can stall here with Arcanine. If it's physical, it's not doing anything. If it's special, we can probably survive it. Uh, then we can just keep Morning Sunning until that goes away. I want to bulldoze. Bulldoze it, yeah. Get the speed down. Then we can outspeed it. I want him to think, oh, this is safe. We can switch out here. Cool. Grab your screens. I mean, he's probably like Clay, so. Does he have a flying type or a levitator? I can't remember the team. No, he does not. So there's no reason to not spam this right now, yep. is what you're saying. I don't see a reason to not spam this right now, because I don't see him doing anything to us. And the moment he hits us is when we can Morning Sun. And this is probably Sucker a, a light. Like, okay. Oh, this is going to do nothing. Okay, so we're just going to sit here and hang out until it goes down. Yep. I'm even tempted and, to Morning Sun now, or will Wisp again. I think that's a good idea, uh, because we're just going to try to let those screens go down as much as possible. Yeah. There's no reason to not stall those out as much as we can. If he only has disabled. a sucker punch. Well, that's fine. So we can't bulldoze anymore. Not uh, the end of the world. And I, good thing I clicked Willow Wisp. So I think we just keep spamming Willow Wisp until we lose the. Uh... Did that or we just switch to Flare Blitz? But yeah, I mean, might as well. No, because I'm fine. I'm fine stalling this out. If he's only got sucker, he's only got two attacks. He's only yeah. got sucker punch. He's only got sucker punch. Yeah. Never mind. I mean, we're just gonna so let him just... waste all of his turns. Waste all of his turns, waste all of his screens, and then we'll just come in and yeah. he'll have accomplished nothing with I, his turn. I want to just take a quick look at how uh, that's the screens, though, just to see. Uh, it's on his side, right? Yeah. So it's he has side, yeah. one of five on light screen and three of eight. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch more turns we have to go. We have four more turns yeah. of everything, pretty much. So we're just going to kind of let it take care of itself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Um, that means it should be three and two left. Okay. So on the last turn of the other one, we'll make sure to click bulldoze because that should be back. By well, then. Uh, yes, it should be unless he disables again. Actually, he won't be able to disable it. Yeah, he can't disable it. With Lewis. All right. Uh, so now it's one and two. Okay. So now we click. Um, and now we're no longer bulldoze. disabled. Um, well, one and two. So I think we will Lewis first because there's still one more well, turn and then we bulldoze he'll get to reset the screen though won't he because that's what he'll do on his last turn oh, is just reset yeah. the screen fair let's bulldoze here then that way one screen's gone the yeah. other one's in his last he, he, turn he disabled our willow wisp that's fine and now we bulldoze so now he doesn't have he has one turn of screens left that's all he yeah. able to that's so all he he's able no, to accomplish yeah. he has no reflect and one turn of screen and one turn of light screen and we just don't have Will-O-Wisp, so. It's not like he can send... The only thing that can handle the Bulldoze fine is, I believe, his 
uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, Lycanroc doesn't like the like the. No, not at all. So I just think we go straight Scizor. That's fine. It might Stealth Rock, but it's probably going to go with Cell Rock or Stone All right, Edge. that's fine. I'm even tempted to just double into Arcanine to make sure it doesn't have a Sash. That's fine. I mean, we got rid of a Dragapult. That was a Screens Dragapult that now has no Screens. And we're... Like, he's going to either... St he's going big. Okay. Oh, so... Interesting. It, you know what? And good thing we have Focus Sash, so we can just Bullet Punch. I mean, there's no reason not to. Ugh. Yeah, there's no reason not to Bullet Punch next turn. Uh, get as much damage as possible. Mm -hmm. It... And as long as it's low enough where Gardevoir can come in and Energy Ball, we're fine. Oh. Although it's probably going to set Rocks here, or it's probably mm -hmm. set Sand, so we might have to... That might be a little more difficult. Will it? It's going to next Quake. Well, either way, that's just as effective. Not against the Scizor. Not against the Scizor, but I'm talking about... Um, oh, yeah, Gardevoir, yes. in... Yeah, Gardevoir, he's going to get the special defense It's up. Life Orb. Oh, he's Life Orb. And now there's Interesting. The, like, we click Bullet Punch right here. Do a good amount of damage. And then, Lycanroc has no defenses, and this is a, this is a Scizor. Yeah. You're right. I am worried about Gardevoir, living a hit. I mean, survive like, killing it. Maybe it's, maybe we go Gardevoir and go big. I think we almost have to, um, because worst case, is we um, back it out afterwards to get the scarf back. But yeah, I mean that's fine. I think we go Gardevoir, we go big, we click grass, and just hope it kills. I think that's the best call. And we trace the Tough Claws, which he's not getting the boost on right now. That's true. That is helpful. So, uh, we need to make sure he goes down this turn. So that's I think like we have to concern. go for Overgrow. I think so. I don't know if we can kill otherwise, and I'm pretty sure we can live any hit with Dynamax. Unless he has some Iron Head. I guess. Even but then. I, I don't think he does. I don't know if it, it's a common enough thing to learn on a Lycanroc. Because that would be the only other thing, is we could have gone into Arcanine, lowered its attack, sacked Arcanine to bring in Gardevoir, but then... Yeah. Next deal spike, yeah, this could be bad. Live. Yes! 3 HP! <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, um, this, this should definitely kill. Yeah, with the, even with, even with double boost, I still think this should kill. Ooh. All right. All right. So depending so on what he brings what... in, this will be his last mon. If Ideally, Gar it's Rillaboom. Well, if Gar Ideally, yeah. it's Rillaboom. If Gardevoir can kill it in one shot, we sack Arcanine. We just swap out straight yes. to Arcanine. Yes, if absolutely. Gardevoir can't, we go over as much damage as possible. Absolutely. Um, my concern is it's Incineroar. And it is. Can it, uh, it's not faster, but it will... Oh, we have, wait, wait, we have Bulldoze. We have Bulldoze. I mean, I'm clicking Max Starfall here either way. I, it, should, it shouldn't have Fake Out. Like, that's just such a silly move to carry in singles. Yeah. He has it. Of course he has it. Why do people have fake out? Break it's sashes. not that good. I guess. But there's only one sash per game at most on a team. I mean, we can still bulldoze and morning sun. I mean, I'm not like, worried not the, about this anymore. Yeah. Like... I guess Darkest Lariat could be a concern. We have or is he... we have Rocky Helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, this becomes a stall game. This becomes a we will eventually win. I, I think we just yeah. start with a bulldoze and see what happens. Like, the worst thing would be is if he's actually, like, weakness policy? But... Weakness policy would be really weird. Weakness policy with fake out? Oh, he's going to parting shot us. Cool. This this is going to be slow. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry for all of you watching home, but this is how we do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, we're going to recover from the grassy terrain for a while. Oh, no. Because he can't attack us. He knows he can't attack us. He knows yeah. about the Rocky Helmet, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. he does not yeah, he knows about him. it. So all he's got, he's probably buried too, so this is just going to take extra time. Yeah. Alright, so it's Parting Shot, Fake Out, probably Snarl, if I had to guess. This could even theoretically be Timer Stalled, because he might. we might not be able to accomplish it with how much How much PP is Bulldoze? Is that 18 or 16? 20. We have 15 20. Left. 
I don't know if we can do it at 15 bulldozers, to be honest. We need a crit. We really just need a crit. <laughs> and we'll eventually get one. Like it's Statistically, yes. Wow. This is this is annoying. We're gonna we're gonna win Maybe. because if even if the, no even if this goes to timer stall, we're just gonna morning sun it out at the end, and we'll have more health, and we'll win. Well, who's who's timer stall? Both of our timer stall or just his? Because I thought it ends when uh, I thought you lose no, if your timer goes out. There's still like a twenty minute timer, so if he's clicking fast enough, then the oh, game will and eventually. Look go. how fast we're going. So. Yeah, we're not gonna hit the timer. He probably won't hit the timer limit. So if anything, it'll go all the way to the end. We're gonna win this game. Like it's it's a. It's a... I hope so. Oh, there's Argus Lariat. Perfect. He's at that point now. Yeah, he realized... Oh, crud. Because that's going to do... We can take multiple... Oh my god, the Rocky Helmet. Alright, I mean, I'm just going to okay. click Bulldoze again because there's no reason to Morning Sun when you're not yeah. on your half. Even we'll a click crit of that won't kill us. I mean, it might. But... Alright, so there's no Citrus Berry, it looks like? No Citrus. Possibly a Pinch Berry. We'll find out shortly. I mean, I definitely. I'm just clicking Morning Sun now. Yeah, there's no reason to take any gambles. Um, no, there. Yeah, it was a pinch berry. So what, that, that's is that fifty percent. Uh, thirty-three now. Oh, thanks, awesome. there. Thank God. And Cinderor did a very good job of abusing that last generation. All right. So they, uh, Morning Sun, it is. They fixed it. Thank you. For you just realized you lost to the Arcanine. Yeah, I think he was thinking maybe he could push through here um, with the Darkest Lariats, mm -hmm. but I I think he'll probably quit next turn. I mean, even that's the thing is we have to make sure just we're above crit range because that's a crit. No reason not to keep clicking Morning Sun, nope. to be honest. We will click Morning Sun until we don't have to. Yeah. And then always make sure you're above crit range. So I just want to count how much it does. So it's 179 down to... One twenty five. So like it can do like up to seventy five ish damage. So I think we bulldoze. That's fine. It's not doing one hundred and twenty damage. No, it can even a crit. I don't think would kill. Oh wait, the crit would be intimidate boosted as well. Never mind. Doesn't matter. We're winning on our terms. Woo, we did oh. it. <laughs> it was not pretty. Oh, it was but it was not pretty. <laughs> oh, we uh. Gosh. We have some issues avoiding Dynamax attacks yeah. on this team. <laughs> but Maybe hey, Porygon would have been better suited, but it did its job. We did it, and that's all that really matters. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for, you know, staying with us th through this long, long of a battle. Um, and we hope to catch you guys next week. Later.